All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, start this POV drive. Let's take this bad boy for a spin. Let's uh, clamp it down the camera here. Literally using just a phone holder for this, so, yep. Pretty amateur, but it does the job. So let's do this. All right, so reverse seatbelt. Uh, the drive's gonna be in sport mode, because in track mode, I try to spend too much. So yeah, let's do this. All right. Very torquey, like I said. Um, it feels like it's faster than the Mustang. Um, obviously, this obviously gets the jump from a Mustang. So, you know, it's just how it is. Let's put this back in its uh, information. All right. All right, there we go. Definitely, once again, guys, this thing is very, very torquey, and it does pick up really quickly, too, even if, like, downshift right here, let's see, like, a little second gear pull. Yeah, really good. So, I'm just clamping down the camera once again, make sure it's tight. But, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, remember, 455 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque. Now, I will say the leather in this car is way more comfortable. It just um, in my feeling, because I do have comfortable, I do have a, a leather in my Mustang. Uh, this leather is more comfortable. I can tell you that for sure. So yeah, uh, visibility in this car, once again, it's not the best. Oh yeah, yeah, you probably did not see that camera back there. But this was, let me see, let me see the camera like that. That's gonna lower anyways, but. So yeah, um, I don't know because it's convertible, maybe it can, I feel a little bit more room, but I wasn't a hard top one. And I didn't feel that much room in there, but. If you do want more space, interior wise you might want to go with the mustang or the challenger but at the same time performance wise i just don't think personally challenger would do just because you know it weighs the most out of the muscle car family and uh i bet it would be either this one or the mustang but probably because i've driven the mustang more and i know it more that's probably why i'm saying that if I owned a Camaro, I would probably say that too. You know, like, defend my, you know, car. But don't get me wrong, this thing is obviously a torque monster, really. Yeah, just putting my foot down, like... Like, it just... Oh, the pops in those exhausts. If y'all can hear that, that's just amazing. Like, the pops in the exhaust, it's just absolutely insane, in my opinion. And yeah, that's just how it is, really, in this car. Put this thing in manual mode, see what it's all about. First gear pull. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this thing sounds really good from the factory. I wish Ford made exhausts like this from the factory and, uh, and Dodge, really. But, yeah, it's just the way the thing shifts is amazing. It, like, um, it's great right now. Now, is it worth the price for this car? I just, I don't know, but um, uh, as in this particular model with uh, at $47,000, I'm probably going to use one maybe because I know uh, probably the 8 speeds might do better, who knows, but uh, I 
like I don't know which is better because I don't know much about Camaros once again um, all I do know that for Mustang the 6R80 is trash and <laughs> please go with the 10R80 uh, unless you tune that 6R80 or that but either you know they're so close really the 8 speed and 10 speed but Cruising speeds, having it in sport mode feels really nice. I'm in ninth gear. This thing, is, I think this is a 10 speed, I believe. Yep, there it is. This is the 10 speed. Uh, once again, usually 10 speeds are 2019 and up. Uh, from 2016 to 2018, they were the 8 speed auto. Uh, supposedly, this is the same transmission in the Mustang for the Mustang and the Camaro, the 10 speeds, but. At the same time i kind of have to doubt it just because the way it shifts and you, know, you know i'm sorry if my phone is shaking i think it's because of either a, a breaking or type of material but you know it's just how it really is really um, we do have a little traffic today unfortunately but once the traffic clears up i'll probably do a little more rip there and It's a four cylinder mode. I see the four cylinder light on. A lot of people kind of don't like it because I think um, uh, when you do step on it, it goes back to V8, I think. But yeah, that's, I, that's kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. It shuts off four cylinders to save gas. That's, that's pretty cool. You know, especially in road trips, that helps a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that was a lot, really. Once again, I apologize for the phone shaking. Uh, it's probably because my, my stand's not really good there. Yeah. I do have to mention, you know, this car being very quiet, even though it does have the stock performance exhaust, I gotta tell you, this car, especially in a four-cylinder mode, it just really quiets the car down. It, no drone whatsoever, and Mustangs have drone from the factory. Let me tell you that. And you know, it's just a, it's a really hard decision when you compare Mustang and Camaro because they've been rivals for more than 50 years, and it's just it's just, yeah, it's just really hard to choose sometimes. And obviously, uh, the Camaro in this case, uh, this uh, this one with the 10 speed, uh, I will. I would buy the six-speed manual because it's way more reliable than the MT82 and a Mustang. And then, you know, it's just yeah. Of course, if you're looking for pure performance, then yes, get the 10 speed. But you know, yeah, I'm gonna step in it one more time. Wow. 60, he reached a little fast there, which is insane. I'm not gonna lie.
like it says 99 miles a gallon. I wish. <laughs> just what this car is it's just so much torque like that's just what it is all right let me do a little zero to 60 right quick I'm just gonna floor this one y'all can calculate that i don't have launch control to enable in this car so yeah <laughs> but yeah this thing pulls it really pulls if we're convertible it does pretty good i'm not gonna lie yeah well that concludes the drive All right, so both amazing cars, Camaro, Mustang, and Challenger. But, you know, this car would have to be the torquiest, Mustang top end. Uh, leave me your opinion in the comments. But, you know, this is just a really nice car in general. Well, I hope you liked the review. This is Walter Walters Cars signing out. Please like and subscribe to the videos I make, and I'll see you guys on the next one, maybe with the Stang back.